Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you step by step how to paint these really cute plants and these fun little plant pots that you can put your own florals or plants in yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here I have my splat mat. I love painting with this. It just helps keep my surface clean. And then I have my paints. All the supplies that I will be using will be linked in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. Here I have my paintbrushes, a glass of water, a paper towel, and then here in this little bag I just keep a bunch of paper already cut to fit my cards. Okay, so I'm going to start off with mixing my colors, and I'm going to start off with my pot color. You can do whatever color you would like. I'm just going to do a terracotta like this plant here. That is just my favorite color to do for my pot. So I'm just going to take some orange, and then I'm also going to add some brown to that just to darken it a bit. While I'm at it, I'm also going to mix my green color, and for that, I'm just going to take a bunch of different greens, and then I'm also going to add some purple and some brown to it to make it look a little bit more natural. Now that all of our colors are mixed, I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. Now that we have our colors all mixed, I'm going to show you how to paint the pot first, then we'll let it dry and come back and do the plant. So the pot is super simple. I like to make mine loose and look really handmade. I love that look. So to start, go ahead, load your paintbrush with some paint, then take it. I like to turn my paper a little bit just so it's a little bit easier for my hand. And then I make these strokes kind of coming inwards and kind of more towards the bottom of the paper so you don't just have a floating pot and then you're just going to kind of bring that line down make it relatively straight but not too straight you don't want it to be perfect and then you're going to make a line at the bottom for the bottom of the pot load your brush again if you need some more paint go across the top and fill it in then you're going to once that's done you're gonna go ahead, load your brush again with the same color, go across the top in a line, kind of, you know, a little bit longer on each side to make this top section here. And then you're gonna make it a little bit thicker, just like that. And there you have a really cute, really simple, easy pot. And you can go ahead, and I'm gonna make mine a little bit wider here, just to kind of fill it in a little bit more make it a little bit straighter at the bottom. And then I like to darken the sides a little bit and the bottom just to give it some dimension and same here. And you can tap and drop in paint if you want, drop in some more color, but there you go. It's that simple, really simple, really easy. Just take some practice and some patience. And there you go, you have a really cute pot. Now we're gonna wait for this to dry and I'm gonna paint a few more while this one dries and we'll come back and do the leaves. Okay, here I just painted a bunch of pots. I think they look so cute. I can't wait to fill these in with a bunch of different types of leaves. So I'm gonna try and show you my best step-by-step -step on how to paint the different leaves in these pots. I'll put all the other ones aside and we can start painting on this one. So I'm gonna take my green. I'm gonna mix a little bit more green here. Oh, I have some green on my brush. I'm gonna go lightly up and do kind of like light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure. And then I'm gonna kind of build on that. So light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure to make these leaf shapes just like that. And kind of, I'm gonna kind of continue that for the rest of the plant and make a couple more stems. 
And then you can take your green color and kind of tap it in there just to give it a little bit more of a watercolored look. And there you go. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna make this one, let's make this one a little bit taller, a little more straight, kind of go up a little bit, and then light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure. And I'm just kind of repeat that. I have a whole video on how to paint leaves if you need a more step-by-step -step if you're a beginner. But yeah, it's really fun, really easy. This is coming out really cute. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like to paint, if you just like to watch the videos, because there's definitely those types of videos I just like to like watch because they're so calming. I love watching people paint, especially with some good music, calming music in the background. So let me know if you guys paint or if you're just here to watch. I would love to know if you're a beginner, if you've been painting for a long time. I have been painting for three years now and I love it. I started during COVID when I didn't really have much else to do and I actually found someone here on YouTube named Emma LaFave. I'll link her channel below because she is absolutely amazing. I learned so much from her. I'm going to do like the same plant. And yeah, that's pretty much where I learned all my watercoloring here on YouTube during COVID and since then I've just been painting cards and pictures for like picture frames and stuff and I love it. I've also been working on some digital prints like painting and then scanning them in recently so hopefully someday I can have those for sale and you guys can buy them. That would be like my dream come true. So. Yeah, that's a little project I want to work on, a little goal for this year. Just digital prints because I think it would be too much work to like ship. I don't think I could do that right now, like ship actual painted things. But I could definitely do digital and you could like add it to your digital journals or bullet journals if you guys do that. I think that could be really cute. Or you could just take it and like print it for your home. So that's what I've been up to. Let me know what you guys have been up to in the comments. I love, love chatting with you guys down there. So much fun. I respond to all of my comments, by the way. So if you guys have any questions, drop them down there and I'll respond. So, yeah. I'm going to add some little lines to this one just for some more texture. And yeah, look how cute that is. Didn't take too long either how cute and then just like get a brown card or something pop that on there so cute I got my I get my stationery from Amazon I'll link it below for you guys but I love it let me know if you guys want more videos like this just like chill kind of paint with me videos they're very fun and relaxing to make so what should I try next? Should I attempt this plant? I have a feeling I'm gonna fail. This is really hard to do. I only did it like one time. Sometimes when I paint, <laughs> I do like once and then I can't do it again. Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's try it. Okay, so one there. Okay, bring it in and kind of out. Follow the line. Straight one. Is that one taller? I think so. Curve. Sometimes you just gotta try it. I like to drop my paint in too to give it more of a watercolor effect. I think I already said that. But I love doing it. Okay. Okay, not as bad as I thought. It's not great, but it's not looking terrible. Not a total fail, in my opinion. At least not yet. Okay, this is turning out, this is turning out pretty cute. Not too bad. Not too bad. One more. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I don't want to overdo it. But, I mean, for a second try, not too bad. This one's still cuter, but not too bad. These turned out really good. So, that is that. Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Join our fun, artsy community. Please let me know in the comments down below if you want more videos like this, if you would prefer me talking in them or just music in the background. I can do whatever. And yeah, hopefully now you know how to paint some cute plants or pots to put your own types of plants or flowers in. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate it. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.